everybody. My name is Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Let me fix this. It's way too high up. Long time no see. Let's see if my cat doesn't. Long time no see. Um, I have an update video coming out after this. Um, I've already recorded it. I'm going to do a bunch of stitch with me just to kind of catch up. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm going to do voiceover style. So let's see. Um, this is kind of a haul video a couple of weeks ago I was contacted by um, New Craft Today and uh, they sent me a couple of links of things they wanted me to receive um, I said sure and it came and I'm here to share it with you guys they wanted to extend a 10% discount code as well for you guys so I'll have that information um, I don't remember if it's like a short code or if it's a link if it is, I'll put it here and then I'll put it in the description below for you guys. And they sent me two kits. So I'm going to show you guys that here. Um, and yeah, I ignore this. Um, I had them open, but it was bringing in too much light. And yeah, and then, yeah, my cat. And this is a rental, so I'm going to have to replace all these blinds um, before I move out. So I hope I'm not sitting too low. Anyway, I received two kits from them and... First, I'll do these. So the reason I have these here is because I actually already recorded this video. And then when I was going back this morning and looking at it, I was like, oh, cat. I ended up not liking it at all. Like the way it came out, the, I just didn't like it. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just gonna redo it and deal with it then. So yeah. Um, these are one of the things that I got. I absolutely freaking love these. They are so stinking cute. Um, you guys know that I'm obsessed with the big blue ones that my friend Amy Sprinklestein, also on YouTube and Instagram, sent me. Um, I, my cat's gonna keep moving the tripod. Don't come up here. Absolutely love these. It came in, stop. It came in a pack of three, and right now I have them on. Um, my Q-Snap holding um, pandemic and yeah I absolutely love them they're plastic oh, no. they're plastic but they and they have the metal spring on the inside like this and they say pretty good quality I don't know I really like it and then I like how they kind of have like a liner in here um, so it doesn't catch your fabric I absolutely love them I've been loving them um, I knew as soon as uh, I got them that I was going to be absolutely obsessed with them. And I am. It is true. Um, then I also got... Let me open these really quick. So one thing I noticed already is that the plastic is not consistent. They just come in these, which I'm not very fond of. Um, I got really used to the way, like, Joy Sunday sends theirs. And, um, like, Maydeer. Maydeer uses a really thick, nice zip plastic bag. Andre Sunday uses something similar to this, much thicker though, with a little like button closure. Um, this one will probably last a little bit, this one won't. That one will need to go in a case at some point when I do them. So, um, the thing that I noticed with these, sorry, I feel a headache coming on, is that um, they're 11 count, which I'm not fond of. So, what I am personally going to do is I'm going to re, I'm going to take. I'm going to take the chart. Do they both have charts? Yes. I'm going to take the chart and I'm going to redo it on a different piece of fabric. Um, and I know I'm going to have enough floss because these are made for 11 count, which means I will be supposedly needing three strands of floss in order to do the 11 count. I'll probably do it on like a 16 or an 18, so I'm definitely going to have enough floss. I don't have to worry about color matching or anything. So anyway, first one looks like this. Oh, it's so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, it's all these balloons and the greenery below. That looks like it's going to be not fun to do, but we'll see. Um, the only thing with this one is, since I am going to be redoing it on a different piece of fabric, is that the chart is very small. So this is like an A4 piece of paper. Maybe slightly smaller than an A4 piece of paper. And it's very small. Like, I had to bring it, like, practically right up on the camera for you guys. Sorry, I'm shaking for some reason. 
it is very tiny and there's a few like areas where it's hard to like see so I don't know I'm gonna see if it copies well if I can um, zoom in when I copy it if not I'm going to see um, if I can take a picture of my phone zoom in that way and then draw over it I don't know and then um, I don't know I went to UPS the other day though and he zoomed in really good on the paper that I had a fax and it looked amazing so I wonder if maybe they can do it too I don't know but, oh butter there is 25 colors in this one and these are stamped cross stitch kits so you know it's nothing like we haven't seen before this is what it looks like it is not like obscenely huge but a doable size in my opinion I'm hearing like a bunch of rumbling there is like storms so I live in Arizona now and there's mountains surrounding us everywhere from these mountains here all the way surrounding to these mountains around like this nothing but storms not in back of us there's not any mountains coming from the east which is weird any mountains there is but there's no storms coming from the east which is weird because my mom's back east on the map and she says well it's storming over here maybe it'll go over there so I come outside to see and it's coming from every other direction except for her direction which is weird but who knows whatever um so yeah anyway this is what it looks like and it looks pretty decent um this one's a decent amount of color blocking and stuff in here so i'm pretty pleased with this i love how they have the color key here the only thing is that if you're looking at these like sometimes it's kind of hard to differentiate the symbols um even like with some of these let me see if i can find a good example Well, they're pretty well printed, honestly. I, but being 11 count has a huge part to play in that. I honestly can't complain. It looks really good. I'll zoom in for you guys. Hopefully it's not blurred. I can't complain. It being 11 count. So you have uh, the color number, the symbol, the DMC and then the color that I think it is in the kit. Let me see what color number 25 is and I'll tell you. Yeah, ish. It's not perfect, but yeah. And then you have your floss. This is how I prefer to stitch anyway. So when I was looking at these before, some of the floss wasn't even in like hooked in here and I was doing this and pieces of floss were just coming out which is really weird um good thing I was able to tell like where they went but it was still very odd I've never seen that it was just like they didn't take their time fastening it oops fastening it to the card but whatever it's just marked like this and that is it um I feel like the Chinese floss has changed a little bit it's definitely not as silky. Um, you guys can't really tell, but it's definitely not as silky as it used to be. Now it feels much more closer to DMC than it used to. I had used to actually prefer the um, Chinese floss or the CXC floss over DMC because of that silkiness. And now, like, I don't know maybe they changed their formulas or they changed the floss it doesn't feel like that anymore I don't know so let's move on to the next one this one does not have an image um, so I will just pop one up here so you can see because this is quite small well I guess you can see that my camera's trying to focus on my face that's it right there I guess you don't need the image that's what it looks like it is the TARDIS in a Van Gogh painting the Van Gogh Starry Night painting um, I've seen versions of this everywhere I have a puzzle of this version as well that I got off of Amazon 
Um, this one, this didn't come with a picture like that one did. It just came with the chart, which is front and back. I don't, the paper that this is made out of is a much better quality than the other one. Um, so what I think I end up doing is, um, well, I'm going to have to photocopy it because I'm going to do the same thing. This is 11 count and I hate 11 count. So I'm going to copy this into a different piece of paper, but I'm kind of wondering if I should laminate it and then go over it with marker instead. The only thing that I am noticing is they didn't do a good job cutting where, like, let me show you and see if you guys can tell. Right here on the edge, they cut those symbols off. Right here. They cut those symbols off. And so some of those, mm, I think I can see them all for the most part. And then you can kind of tell on the back. You can slightly see where they cut it off. I didn't notice that until now, but it is what it is. I'm not going to be able to change that. It is what it is. Um, you know, if I ask them for a new copy, it's probably going to be the same thing anyway. So, I don't know. I might laminate this and use a fine point mark marky, fine point sharpie to go over it, or I might just photocopy it a couple of times, do it that way. And then it is the same thing with the canvas. This one is different orientation and very confetti heavy. So I'm very nervous to see how it's going to come out. So yeah, again, it's not absurdly huge, decent size, 30 by 40, I think is what they both are. 50 by 40, just different ones. 50 by 40 and one's 40 by 50 because they go different orientations. There's a close-up of it. Again, very clear symbol. However, keep that in mind that this is 11 count. If you order these, and it could be why um, the 18 counts are so hard to find in these is because the printing's very difficult. Um, I've gotten 14 count before and I'm still able to read it pretty well. Um, and I've gotten 16 count again is very rare 11 is more common now before it was easier to find um, Like when it was cheaper to order from China now, they're pretty much the same prices as American um, They used to be you could find six more 16 counts now. You, it's very difficult It's a lot of 11 and 14 and I think this is the reason I think it's just symbol quality in my opinion Maybe it's not I don't know but yeah, I just, I'm very excited. I don't know. I just freaking love Doctor Who. And then again, this is a very different floss card, which I find a little bit weird that, that you order from the same company and there's no consistency between the packages. So you notice right away, the plastic wraps are different. Okay. Um, this one that I'm showing you right now came with an instruction sheet in a different language. Okay. And even it seems like it has a craft and a hobby. Like, I don't know if that's like a company name or like what it is. Again, it's in a different language, which is fine. It has pictures, whatever, you know. Um, one came with a cover sheet. One didn't. Um, one came with a very nice quality enlarged um, chart. The other one came with a much smaller chart. The type of paper doesn't even match. It's not the same. And then the boss cards aren't the same. So the other one was the standard one with um, the red line in the middle and then the numbers. And then this one just has like these cuts and the floss is like down in there. That I don't like. I might change that and put these on some floss tags or order some of these i don't know yet because i don't i don't have any of these or maybe i do i don't know but yeah i don't care for that they don't feel very secure on here they just move they're not tied in any type of knot they're just here i just find that very odd they order from the same company and there's no consistency like they don't even bother changing it i get that they probably order a wholesale as well 
um, from another place and then just resell it, which is what a lot of companies do. Um, but then they have nothing to make it their own. That's just my opinion. Um, again, the floss, very similar to DMC, um, much more similar to DMC quality, in my opinion, than um, the Chinese floss ever was. Uh, so, I mean, there is that to consider if you didn't like CXC floss prior. You know, maybe now is the time you might want to give it a try. So, yeah, those are the two kits that I got and the um, clamps. I will put the coupon code below. Um, I wanted to kind of, my other video was like 20 some minutes, ended up being way too long. Now I'm at 16. So, you know, I just kind of want to thin it down a little bit. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you think about the quality of this video. This is a new phone. And then I actually paid my old phone off. So I'm actually going to save this one, clear it out to record because yesterday I went to record my Stitch With Me and it only had like 20 minutes of video so i had to go through delete a bunch of videos but i still have a few videos on here that it doesn't look like i ever posted and i don't know why so i'm going to go through that and see and then again i will talk about floss of the month i'll talk about mystical diamond art i will talk about all the updates in the stitch with me's that are going to follow i'm going to do them voiceover sale just because they're easier for me to do that um it's actually not it takes more time it's easier to compile, but it takes a lot more time to do it because it's like I have to do it twice. I have to do the stitch with me, record me stitching, and then I have to record the voiceover. It is what it is. I don't know. It just, it worked in my brain, so that's what we're doing. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, 10% coupon code in the description box if you guys are interested in ordering or if you like the stamped cross stitch kits i know some of you do i know some of you aren't heavily into cross stitching and this might be a way to get you like on the cross stitching boat so to speak but yeah i'll catch you guys next time